Hello guys, welcome back to the Swindon Town save on FM23. And since you were last here, we have been on fine, fine form. We haven't lost still in the league since the 26th of December. And we have once again gone unbeaten between the episodes. Only three games this time, two that have actually been meaningful. That was a 4-1 win against Portsmouth where Jones, Curtis, Wakeling and Williams got us the goals. And then a 3-1 win against Wigan where a couple of late goals won us the game after Ronan Curtis scored first. Then they would reply but Jaden Williams and Johnny Williams would get us the three points in that game and then a friendly against Kelm because we did have a week off before this Chelsea uh, under 21's final and after we've done this final I'll just show you the game that we secure our place fingers crossed in the championship and it looks like it could be a formality two games in hand so they can only get nine points from the rest of this season so, as long as we win two of our next four, uh, next five games, we should be in the championship next time round. Jacob Wakeling, still the top goal scorer, still putting in the goals and um, getting a goal against Portsmouth. And hopefully he can t continue that. Uh, we have had the latest youth intake. By the way, I had an issue with my faces, so I had to do them all again. So, if you wondered... This is what Cliff looks like now. Uh, Aaron Bridges looks a little bit different. It's not going to affect it too much. We haven't actually started meeting these players too much yet. Uh, the best one was Mortis Gruber uh, from Germany. He looks brilliant um, with far, uh, four and a half star potential ability. Um, and yeah, he looks really good. Uh, was born in Germany and has came over to England and is trained at our club obviously um, 10 determination not the greatest but not the worst um, we also got Ash Payne he looks pretty decent uh, the midfielder uh, Matthew uh, Hutchkins uh, looks like a decent player as well and um, San, uh, Sam Ta Tiernan um, I think that's how he says him he looks like a decent player as well so them to add to there was a couple more um, but they're the main main four to look out for. We have also signed some pre-contract uh, players. Uh, Benito Vassallo um, has joined from Man City. He looks like a goalkeeper with a decent amount of potential. Uh, Grieg uh, Dillon has joined from Liverpool. He's got some decent potential as well. Uh, Jensen Milby has joined, He's he can play anywhere across the back three, looks like a really promising centre back at only 18, um, Adrian Benko fits that mould as well, uh, got some great physical stats and has got some great tackling, uh, only 18, and Marius Pudeau, um looks like a decent midfielder, he's got some good pace, good natural fitness as well, and he looks like a tricky uh, winger to you know, a tricky winger who can cause the opposition a lot of issues and he's coming in from Brighton so here we are the cup final day and this is the team Mitov in goal Emmanuel the right back Offord is in the centre with Gibson then it's Furlong who has played quite a few games himself in this competition then Hazeman Reed. And long stuff. There's Calesto, Curtis, and Waking. Uh, Wakeling, sorry. Um, Kovacevic, Muir, Gordon, Francois, Adam Lewis, uh, Johnny Williams, and Jaden Williams. All on the bench. Jaden Williams, by the way, has continued his great form, scoring in the last two games. So he scored in all of his last four now. So he is on fire. Let's get into this. Can we win? A cup final. Will today be the day that we get our first trophy in this save? And let's do it for the fans. They're a good side, our Chelsea under 21s. 
as you can see, Wembley full, really. I mean, beautiful um, to see how many fans Chelsea have brought. Um, our fans, <laughs> not so many, I'd say. Um, but hopefully, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully there's like 30,000. <laughs> 11,000 people were turned up to this uh, Papa John's Trophy final. But for us, if we win it, biggest competition in Europe, remember lads? And ladies. Um, so, yeah. Papa John's Trophy final. It's, it's an exciting day for this football club. A football club who have been starved of any glory in recent years. Um, especially... Um, yeah, glory like this. I mean, they've they won the uh, EFL League Two in weird circumstances due to the uh, virus, um, but they did win that. However, except from that, they've really not had the greatest of times in real life recently. But we've started to bring back those glory times for Swindon, and hopefully, this can be an, our first trophy and another brilliant chapter in this club's nice history and here is offered Reed ranking Calesto ball over the top looking for Wakeling it was head headed away but only as far as Reed here is Wakeling using his pace shooting towards goal and it's a good save by the Chelsea goalkeeper Wakeling using his burst of pace to get him behind He's done that so many times this season. We got a corner. We're dangerous from these, it seems. And Hazeman was there, but Cooper heads away for Chelsea. Another corner. Reed will take. Can he get it into the box again? He can, and Gibson heads. But it's a good save by the goalkeeper for. Chelsea under 21s and I was having a look thinking that I ex Swindon Platt um Sonsup Bell would be in their squad but he isn't uh, he must have just been too good because we have been actually trying to get him in on loan trying to reunite him with his boyhood club and his Villa and it's saved by Mitov and dangerous player is Villa And, uh, yeah, very close to an opener, but still no goals in this game. Here is Wakeling, balling, looking for long stuff. Cooper clears away. It's a, it's a long clearance. It was a great clearance by Cooper. Really got his foot behind it. Here is Hazeman. Now Emmanuel, looking to produce something for Swindon. Reed, Golding did really well to win it back. For Chelsea, who are pinned in a bit here. And just as I'm speaking, Wales have scored against USA. So, that's great for them. And I'm sure that they'll be loving that. And hopefully, we can go and score. And it won't be Via, who's in behind here. Via! Blocked! Cleared off the line by Gibson. Wow, that was close. Jeez, that was really close. Really, really, really close. And that was pretty mental. And uh, for any of you that care, it was Gareth Bale that scored. So Gareth Bale clearly giving us good luck to go in at the break at only nil-nil. And um, hopefully we can come out in the second half and get that goal, which could... Get us a bunch of money. Here is Gibson. I don't actually know how much money you do get if you win this competition, but I believe it'll probably be you know, maybe in the region of a couple of hundred thousand pounds. Here is Curtis looking to poke it through to Wakeling. Now Curtis towards the back post, and it's a good catch by the Chelsea goalkeeper. He's having a very impressive game in that Chelsea under 21's net. Here is Via. Now Hutchkinson. Hutchkinson looking to shoot and it's a good block. And Mitov <coughs> does really well. Does 
the Bulgarian shot stopper and he has been superb for us for the majority of this season. Hopefully he can keep it up to date. Here is Hazeman. Now long stuff. Looking long for Wakeling. Does really well under pressure from Gilman. Wakeling looks to turn. Finds Curtis. Curtis on this left hand side. Can he do anything with the ball? He tries to p cut it back to Reed. He lays it off. And here's Ranking Calesto! And Joe Ranking Calesto scores! It's a absolute smash from Ranking Calesto who put his whole power through that ball and makes it 1-0 Swindon on the 60th minute. Reed brought it down beautifully, played it into Longstaff, who played it to Ranking Calesto and beat the goalkeeper at the front post to make it Swindon 1, Chelsea under 21's nil. And now they've brought on Carney, Chuck and Waker, who they signed in real life this summer from Aston Villa. And that's a ball over the top looking for Villa. Can he score here and meet off? is equal to the shot, straight at him to be fair, but Mitov stands strong, makes a good save, and keeps it, Swindon 1, Chelsea under 21's, nil, ball over the top looking for Hutchkinson, cleared away by Emmanuel, now Longstaff brings it down beautifully, he's done so well there as Matty Longstaff, can he find someone here? As he's still going, this Matty Longstaff. Brilliant run from the 25-year-old. Ball trying to be played over the top. It couldn't work that time, but Hazeman picks it up in the midfield. Here's Reed. Ball over the top this time. Work. Curtis! Just over the bar. Ronan Curtis just can not keep his head down. And we are going to make a change. We're going to bring on Lewis Gordon. But also going to bring on Lewis so Gordon and Lewis coming on and hopefully we can see this game out against the team that won this competition last season and could it be our fairy tale I mean I would have happily gone out of this competition within the first few games of it but now we could be winning it and here's Wakeling and it's a great save by the Chelsea goalkeeper once again he's having a brilliant game is Sonina I'm gonna say and um, yeah he's having a really really good game in that net but it seems like we are going to win the Papa John's trophy and it is the biggest trophy in world football for us because we have won it and for the first time in FM23, we see the trophy celebration. And here we are. We hold the trophy aloft. Your winners, Swindon Town are your winners. And isn't that brilliant? There we are, celebrating. And the boys, so happy. And we have won a trophy. It only took us to have to play in the Papa John's Trophy to win a cup. I mean, it could be our last for a while, but who knows? Who knows indeed? Very, very good performance. And, you know, it wasn't the best we'd played all season, but that doesn't matter because we've won a trophy that's all that matters in these kind of games the performances sometimes aren't the best but it is the the you know the passion that you show that wins you those games and we've done it see what the well, let's see what the media think uh, let's have a look um what is, there you go a hundred thousand pounds yay <laughs> what do you do <laughs> Uh, medals going to Jaden Williams, Johnny Williams, Lewis, Francois, Gordon, Muir, Kovacevic, Wakeling, Curtis, Costello, Longstaff, Reed, Hazeman, Furlong, Gibson, Offer, Emmanuel, and uh, Mitov. So um, only 18 players have got a medal, but <laughs> for the rest of the squad, that, that's peak for them. Um, 
So, yeah, look at back, some great wins. 6-1 against Crawley, 5-1 against Stockport, uh, wins against Oxford and Wickham. And, um, yeah, yeah, really, really good. Um, we were still making a loss this month, but, you know. Um, it also says at the bottom, it represents an impressive turnaround for fortunes for me, who at one point was close to being dismissed. Okay. Right, I'm not sure that's true, but, you, you know, thank you anyway. Um, yeah, we virtually paid out more than we got paid for doing that. Um, who's reached it? Uh, we're, we're never going to play in that competition again, so it's fine. Biggest overachievers, Swindon Town. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And um, we've won a trophy. And I am actually going to have a look at that Chelsea goalkeeper, because... That's probably why he's quite good. That 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 does. That's probably why. Oh, right. So we played against a Premier League goalkeeper and we still beat them. Woohoo! Lovely. Yeah, they got. Well, clearly they've got a decent team and they got beat by us. Isn't that lovely? Right. So now you'll see me for the game when we've got a chance to win. Promotion, so I'll see you for that game now. Here we go. Hopefully, today will be the day. We failed to do it against Leighton Orient. Now, that was a long shot because Charlton did have to drop points. Instead, we dropped points. Still not one against Leighton Orient in this save. Hopefully, we can beat Salford today. So, this is the team. It's Mitov in goal. Emmanuel, Muir, Gibson and Gordon the back four. Hazeman, Reed, and Longstaff in midfield three. Ranking Calesto, Curtis, and Wakeling the front three. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We would have won the last game if it wasn't for a mistake from um, Offord and Mitov at the same time. Um, they just didn't know which one of them was going to go to the ball. So I've opted to drop Offord, and Muir comes in, and hopefully, you know, all... All we need to do is win. If we win, we've done it. Um, if we don't... Uh, if, if we lose and, and Charlton win, it, it's not looking good. That's a great strike by Wakeling. Equally as good a save from Yaros in the Salford net corner, though. We've got, we've got Big Lad at the front post. He's a danger man, is Muir. Can he win the head up? No, 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 he, he, I'm surprised. He's six foot four. Here is Reed. Can he do anything? Ball in. It's another corner. Can we get another corner goal? Second corner of the game that we've seen. Reed puts it in. Is it on to anyone's head? No, it's not. It goes through to Wakeling. Can he recycle the ball? Here is Gibson, now Longstaff, Hazeman, and, well, it's, it's an interesting start. 11,294 people turning up for a Tuesday, and Charlton are leading. So, basically, if we don't win, then it's it's a bad position going into the last game. We do have... Two games in hand, uh, no, one game in hand still. Two games to go, so it's not the worst position. But we have been known to uh, try and bottle things before. Uh, hopefully, we don't bottle this. By the way, uh, we've got Cardiff next. Uh, Cardiff, um, I was about to say, look like they could be Centurions. But um, Preston have just scored. So if we beat them and Preston you know, decide to win, then, you know... Maybe they might not be Centurions, which would be... I mean, it'd just be nice, wouldn't it? Here is Longstaff. Looks for the ball in behind. Torre does really well. Here's Nati. And we cannot afford to lose this game. Kubis. 
Here is Grimshaw. Good tackle by Gordon. Can he get the ball forward? He can. The ball was decent, but not decent enough. And here's Hazeman. Now Reed. Ball through. Rankin Calesto's in. And it's a great tackle by Grant. But Wakeling puts it in the back of the net for his 37th goal of the season. And we are 1 0 up. 51 minutes in. And that's a crucial goal if we want to get promoted to the championship. And. Of two games to go, this is very important. The ball by Reed was brilliant. They did a great tackle to Grant, but Wakeling was there, right place, right time, to tap it home. And can we just hold out this victory? Here's Hazeman. Reed turns. Brilliant turn by Reed. Can he play the ball over the top? He looks for Ranking Costello, brings it down well. Here's Emmanuel. Ranking Costello. Puts the ball in, Wakeling scores, and it's two goals for Wakeling today. It's 38 goals for the season. He could have 40 by the end of the season, and that would be some, some year, because he has been brilliant, and Charlton go 2-0 up, which is great for them. But right now, we will be in the championship next season if it stays this way. Wakeling, corner kick. Can we get another goal? It's Gibson, and he should have probably done better. Should have kept his header down for sure. And 20 minutes to play. We're going to make a couple of changes. Because we do have a game at the weekend, and if worse comes to worse, that could be a very, very important one indeed. So we are going to make the changes and for whatever reason the game doesn't know what I want to do that's what I want to do Muir brings it down well here is Mitov Gibson what can he do here's Longstaff Hazeman Gordon Curtis Hazeman Gordon it's good play on this left-hand side. Longstaff, ball in to Curtis. Can you get the ball in? He can't, but Gordon looks to try and clip it into Curtis again. It's a poor ball, and Grimshaw looks to clear. Here is Gordon again, bringing it down acrobatically. Now Longstaff from range, and it's well over from Matty Longstaff. And still 2-0. Only 10 points behind Cardiff, by the way, so... Pretty impressive how we've closed them down in recent weeks. And it looks like we'll be going to the championship along with them. Wakeling, ball in, Muir, just wide. I did think it was going to be another headed goal, but just wide of the post. And by the way, Johnny Williams has just played right back, but he won't care because we are into the championship. We've got promoted, and it took us two attempts in League One, but we are there in the championship next season.